tell me about a time when you had a problem. The problem yesterday when I needed to take the train to uh, Nottingham from Bedford, but when I got to the train station, I realised I'd left my uh, debit card at home, so I couldn't pay for a ticket, and I also couldn't pay for a bus back to my house, so I was stuck in a train station, and I really had to get to Nottingham that day. Uh, so I had to wait there in the train station for about three hours until my parents came and gave me some money uh, on their way back from work and then I could buy a ticket and get to Nottingham. Um, I was uh, staying in France on a student exchange um, as, a, as a, a lecturer rather than as a, as a, as a student uh, and uh, participated in the local uh, marathon. Um, having completed the marathon in a, in a lamentable time of about four and a half hours, um, I eventually went back to the house where I was staying and found that I was locked out. Um, so having done a marathon, which completely exhausted me, it was then necessary for me to find a ladder and try to get into the house through up the ladder and into a, an upstairs window. Uh, it was not an easy task. I had uh, misplaced my keys. And these are really important keys. These are keys for work. And I work in a mental health hospital where it's a locked ward. So I had difficulty trying to get into hospital. Again, I was running late, which seems to be a habit of mine, really bad habit. Um, but eventually I managed to convince one of my colleagues to lend me their keys and they saved the day and I was fine. No one noticed that I was late. I've had problems with people thinking I'm not taking things seriously when I am. <laughs>